Did you know that Egypt is in the continent of Africa? The pyramids are used for burying the dead pharaohs. Also, the Sphinx has a human head and a cat's body. Both of them are made of stone. Did you know that the River Nile is the longest river in the world? The River Nile floods every year, which helps the crops to grow. The Egyptians created their own language and used symbols called hieroglyphics. Canopic jars were used for putting internal organs in after they were cut out. Did you know after the pharaohs were mummified they were put into a sarcophagus? This is some jewellery that would have been buried with the pharaoh. This, this pharaoh is about to get mummified. Anubis and his guards are having a ceremony for the dead pharaoh. The Egyptians are coming home with the embalming ingredients. The mummy has just been made and put in a sarcophagus for their afterlife. This mummy has just been found and took out of its tomb. The mummy has gone all mouldy and rotten. The Embame is washing a dead pharaoh with wine and spices. Anubis is taking care of the dead pharaoh. This is an x-ray of a sarcophagus showing a skeleton inside. The mummy's finished and placed inside the sarcophagus. We decided to mummify Jacob. First we washed him with wine and spices. Next we used the hook to remove his brain. Then we made an incision to take the organs out. After that we covered him in salt to dry him out. Straw was used to put shape in the body. Linen bandages were used to cover the body and the face before the death mask was placed on. This picture has hieroglyphics on it and has lots of pictures of gods. Hieroglyphics are a different way of writing. These are heads of gods on canopic jars. The canopic jars are used to keep the organs in. This is the sun god Ra on, on the top of a canopic jar. These are some more hieroglyphic pictures that have been found in a pharaoh's tomb. This is a statue of the sun god Ra. This is a statue of the god Anubis. He has been removed from a pharaoh's tomb. This picture was taken in the Valley of the Kings. This temple was built for Ramesses II. This is a picture of Ra the sun god which has been carved on a piece of stone. Tutankhamun was buried in the Valley of the Kings. He ruled from the age of nine and died at the age of 18. His mask was solid gold. This is a picture of Tutankhamun's sarcophagus. Tutankhamun was buried in the Valley of the Kings so nobody could steal his treasures. Ramesses II built this statue of himself before he died. Ramesses the Great built many temples in his honour. Cleopatra ruled between 51 and 30 BC. Cleopatra is supposed to have killed herself by letting a poisonous snake bite her. Queen of Fertie's personality was bossy, intelligent and ruthless. Egypt's Great Pyramids were tombs for some of the pharaohs and their families. The Egyptian pharaohs built temples that would last forever. These are some archaeologists examining a burial chamber. These are some of the hieroglyphics on a tomb wall. Howard Carter discovered the tomb of Tutankhamun in 1921. This is the diagram of Tutankhamun's tomb. This is a temple with a beautiful sunset. The pyramids are visited by many tourists from around the world. The temple was dedicated to goddess Isis, the wife of Osiris and the mother of Horus. This is a picture from space of the River Nile. The River Nile is the longest river in the world. Some of the pyramids are situated on the bank of the River Nile. A 
every year the river Nile floods it makes the land very fertile farmers can grow crops and raise animals the river Nile runs south of Egypt into Sudan going back in history the river Nile has always provided fertile land the sun sets over the Nile